Insurance Business Risks Business owners would take out insurance cards to ensure financial protection in case of a loss. Different risks require different insurance. Listed below are some of the most common types of insurance. Premises Loss of a business's trading place would mean that the business cannot operate. Due to this, most businesses take out premises insurance. A building's insurance covers repairs to the building itself and contents insurance covers the replacing of any inventory. Theft Inventory or cash can be stolen by employees or shoppers. This is more likely to happen if there is poor security or if there is easy access to inventory or cash. Theft is covered in contents insurance, but sometimes specialist cover is available if the risk is higher. Motor for businesses that use vehicles, the law states that all drivers or owners must have an insurance policy to protect them from any third-party claims. A third-party insurance only provides claims made by others. A third-party fire and theft insurance covers fire, theft and third-party claims. Marag This provides insurance for the shipping industry. Hull insurance covers the ship's infrastructure. Cargo insurance covers the loss of ship's cargo as the cargo does not usually belong to the shipping company. Freight insurance covers the cost of the freight if the owner cannot deliver goods due to unavoidable circumstances. Fire Fires can destroy factories, inventory, equipment and machinery, which causes businesses to stop operating until damages are fixed, or the business could go out of business. Usually, this is covered by the premises insurance that we discussed above. Consequential Losses this covers the loss of income if a business is unable to trade due to any unforeseen circumstances. Some insurance policies cover the loss of income if there is a power cut, illness or key workers or no components available due to supply delay. These losses are called indirect losses. Employee's Liability The insurance is required by law in order to provide compensation if employees are injured at work. This is because many work environments are hazardous and have a high risk of injury. It protects employees from dishonest employers. Public liability covers the legal action and compensation for claims made by third party against the business. This is because if public get injured in a business premise, then they can make a claim to get a compensation. Although this insurance is not required by law, it is quite important for businesses. Product liability covers for the cost of damages resulted from a faulty product. If a customer makes a claim due to the loss suffered from a faulty product, the insurance would help provide the legal cost and any compensation that has to be paid by the business. Fidelity Guarantee Compensated employers for the loss of money or property sustained as a result of fraud, theft or dishonesty by employees. Thefts by employees are often difficult to spot, especially if they have easy access to cash bank accounts, etc. Credit insurance covers for the non-payment of goods that were purchased based on credit. Credit insurance is more popular with exporters because it is harder to get debts from overseas customers.